Good morning, or good afternoon from Taiwan. Uh, Dino, uh, some Ceratops from Calgary. Fun places. Um, it is the morning. Um, good morning, Anime Dan, Ellie, Omni Wins, Jeff. Oh, back to the 8 a.m. This is very early. It is very early. It's very, very early. Um, good morning, good morning, Taiwan John. Good morning, Fox Force 4. And as soon as I start, the, uh, the bin men seem to be outside picking up lots of different bins. Yeah, my brain, my brain is on. It's ready. Ready for some brainy, brainy trivia. What time is it? 8.01. Hello, Jenny girl. Um... And we may have a few adjustments to our show schedule happening uh, today. We'll update you later on that. Uh, not had the money update for my winnings yesterday. Will it be done today? Um, which show? 3 p.m. or 8 p.m.? And probably, probably be done today. Um, my brain is still in sleep mode. That's fair. It's fair. Gotta wake up though, eh? 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. I don't know. Uh, I can check with Joe and see. We might have been doing stuff yesterday afternoon. Um, we are working on a better process for money stuff, but uh, right now um, we do it manually, so it's just probably not done yet. Um, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Ellie. Um, yeah, I need to. I need to wake up. I'm wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm ready. About to go. What's this? It's because it's cloudy outside. It's cloudy. It's hard. Is it raining? It's, it's cloudy. Probably raining. The weather here is just a mess at the moment. It's just always like sunny or cloudy or rainy. Just one. Or, but it goes between them quite succinctly across the day. So, uh, I don't know. I haven't slept in four days. Any, I think... I don't think you, you can't sleep. You need to sleep, Ellie. Go to sleep for four days. That's crazy. Um, good day, trust me, free. It's only 64 people in. Two minutes past. A few more minutes to go. We can kick off with some trivia. Um, 803. Awake and thriving. I don't think I've ever stayed up for four days. I don't think I've ever stayed up for 48 hours. I have to sleep. I have to sleep. I got back from work yesterday and then fell asleep at like uh, 8 a.m. Probably 8 a.m. New England weather, yeah. It's just, it's just weather. Weather, weather. Weather's mad. Weather's crazy. Um, I didn't force you at my desk, to be fair. I fell asleep. I came home. I stayed at my sofa and fell asleep. Um, I haven't slept. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, Zeusless being on more, that is the trigger to go to sleep, which is tomorrow, tomorrow night, to beat the host, um, which I'll be hosting tomorrow, so that'd be fun um, for Zeusless. I think we still got to get the questions for that. I think they're being written now. Um, 3 a.m. here. Phew. So early, so early. Um, right. Indeed, it is too early. Always. Um, but we'll press ahead with our morning trivia. In one minute, 82 people here now. That's good. Um, then I have to run off to our office to do more. But yeah, we're going to be we're going to be rejigging our schedule a bit for shows. Um, mainly so. We can focus on some new shows, some new formats as well, um, which we'll be updating either later today, probably, probably later today. Um, batches at 5%, oof, 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 painful, painful. I don't mind that. I charge mine overnight. And we'll see. Right. Burbank, CA, that's, let's be late there. Let's be like midnight, maybe? Maybe just about midnight or so? Um, win Crawdad's money show. We might have a Crawdad show coming out actually, um, which is interesting. Um, right, but it is now 
um, five minutes past eight. Good morning. And um, this is uh, more trivia, our daily trivia show every day. Um, very easy. It's five questions. You got to get 30,000 points. If you get 30,000 points, you get a split of our uh, pots, which is 25 English pounds. 25 pounds. Isn't that good? And that is all. That is all. That is all you'll get. Uh, to split of 25 pounds but um yeah that's it i don't want more to say we're gonna play hopefully you'll get him right uh hard for a taiwanese it's hard for, hard for everyone maybe it's easy though we'll see we'll see right but let's go with our first question of the day and we're talking about this this person maybe not someone you've not heard about in a while but do people know who this is anyone anyone guess who it is um, I was looking at a lot of pictures of her and I was like, oh, after a while. Um, but it is in fact, I see no one in chat writing anything. Um, it is in fact, it's Christina Aguilera. Oh, head cut off. Is it really that high? Is it really that high? Okay. It's Christina Aguilera. She is, uh, Tim Dozer smashing it, getting it right. Well done. Yeah, Christina. But according to Christina Aguilera's hit song, she was a genie in what? In the well? in financial trouble, or in a bottle. Now, if you don't know the song, I feel like there's a chance you still could get this one right. Um, it was, in fact, uh, she was, in fact, a genie in a bottle, which most of you hopefully got right. I haven't seen the answer yet. See, 98 of you got right. Well done. Six of financial trouble and several for the well. She wasn't in the well, but she was well. Not in the well, though. Um, well done. 90 people getting that right. Easy start, hopefully. A nice first start to get through. Uh, Christina Aguilera. She's beautiful in every single way. Exactly. She is. She is. Right. Uh, I thought it was Gwen Stefani. It does It does look like a few other people. Um, she also might have been in financial trouble, yeah. But I don't think she made a song about it. Unless she did. I'll try to think of uh, my Christina Aguilera songs now. Uh, right. Question number two, the last of my picture questions, but hopefully we can see this. It is my favorite play. Um, it's a streetcar named Desire. Uh, great play. Um, all about, um, all about, I don't know what I said about really, about women and men and relationships and um, drinking and happiness and lying, all those things, themes. If I was um, that's why I do well in English exams, because I have a deep analysis and understanding of uh, literature and plays. But my question is easy. It's this play is set in which city? Is it Dallas, New Orleans or Memphis? I say easy, easy if you know the play. Um, it is, it is somewhere. Well... Simpsons. Oh, yeah, there was. I remember the Simpsons episode. Um, oops, I threw my phone. It's the four days no sleep, Ellie. Just throwing it around. Um, it was, in fact, New Orleans. New Orleans was where the show play was based. Uh, which 18 you got right. Well done. 26 for Memphis and 7 for Dallas. Um, I don't know if I just know Stella. Actually, the movie is pretty good as well. I'll check out the film, um, which is good. Um... So I can't hear me. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Um, the film is good. The film is good. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Uh, Jeffy in first place, followed by Mad Sam. Now cut out. Urban Sabero, Fancy Alley, Mila, Jeff Keys, Tim Dozer, Max Aplot, Dot, and Fed Up in top 11 positions currently. We only have three more questions to go. So you got to get another two right, and you could be in with a chance to win a split the pot. The questions might get slightly harder now. So let's see. With question number three, which of these is not a palindrome? Is it no lemon, no melon, dad, bad, dad, or nan, nags, nan? So if you want to know what a palindrome is, it is, uh, it is, a, it is a phrase that is spelt the same backwards. Um, and in fact, it is. Uh, dad, bad, dad, because there is a B there, which says dad, dab, bad. 
dad's bad's dad's dad's dad bad. Uh, which 39 if you got right, well done. 39 was something from Melon, no melon. Melon, no lemon. No melon, no lemon. Um, which is right. Well done to everyone who got those right. Uh, right. Question. Let's look at the leaderboards. How are we doing? I oh, know we don't look at the leaderboards yet. Um, let's look at question. Uh, second isn't a palindrome either. Nan snag. Is it not melano lemon? The nan one isn't either. The nan one isn't one? Let me look at my answers. Let me look at my questions. Let me look at my questions. Uh, nan nags nan isn't one. No lemon, no melon. Yeah, there may have been a problem with that question. Uh, okay, all right, well, on that note, I'm going to reduce the prize pool down to uh, I need to 20,000. That feels kind of low. We'll do it to... Uh, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. I'll go down to 25,000. Around to 25,000. We'll get to 25,000. Is that fair? Yeah, we've got two more questions. That's right. It's 25,000. Okay. The points. All right. 25,000 to hit over. I take it now by 5,000. So um, we ignore that one. Um, but if you got it right, well done. Um, painful. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Right. Question. The mornings. The mornings. They're tough. They're tough. Uh, I got it right, though. Perfect. Um, so uh, question number four. Um, which of these cities is the last to see New Year? Is the last to see in the New Year? Is it Pyongyang, Tokyo, or Seoul? Let me read. Anyway, um, the city is, of course, it is... Uh, I don't know if it's of course, it's CG. It's uh, Pyongyang. Pyongyang actually sees their new year, the last, which 32 of you got right. Uh, 53 for Tokyo and 25 for Seoul. Um, Pyongyang is actually, um, North Korea is half an hour ahead of Seoul. So they would see it first. They would see it first. Well, that's everyone who got that right. And let's look at the leaderboards after our awkward misstep question. Um, already a lot of people winning. Matty Hammer, Jeff now cut out. Mithu, Shimu, Fancy Ali, Omni wins. Mad Sam. Uh, Novatu, Soima, Rubber Mate, a lot of people already. So we've already got we've got 23 winners um, down to Charlie's. And one more question to go. If we go for 25k to break over um, to make up for the slight indiscretion that may have happened at question number three. Um, but there's one more to go. And it is about my favourite topic, films. Um, but my question is... Um, which of these is the oldest international film festival? Is it Venice, Cannes, or Berlin? Can, Cannes. My pronunciation there, bad. Well, it is in fact uh, the film festival which is on right now, which is uh, which is Venice, Venice Film Festival, which is the oldest. Thirty-five, you got right. Twenty-six for Cannes and thirty-two for Berlin. Um, it is, it is Venice. The Venice Film Festival is on now, and it is the oldest uh, film festival um, by far. Um, so there you go. Interesting, interesting film festival facts there. Uh, right. So <laughs> that's it. There are the questions. We're done. Um, let's look at the leaderboards. How are people doing? We've got all our questions through. Two out of five. Oof. Oof. Painful. Um, Paladrones. And well. Well done to Jeff, knock it out, Matfield, Mithesh, Mad Sam, uh, Soima, Jimong, Barbin, Pun Man Ben, Pun Man Ben, I like it, Omni Wins, Max the Plot, Aswini, Dev, Hulk, Kanu, Shimu, Fancy Ali, Novato, Robin H, Mila, Andrew Burns, Tim Dozer, Microwave, Sam, Cody, Neon Sabu, Urban Sombrero, Chris Ketz, Kev Mac, Bev, MTR, Charlotte Leeds, and there we go, 32 people, 32 people getting that right. Well done all uh, for playing. Uh, apologies for the mishap question, um, but we will um, correct and fix for the future. Thank you so much for playing. 
Um, it's, fi it's 15 minutes past now, exactly the end. Uh, enjoy the rest of your wonderful day or evening or night. And um, we'll be back at 3 p.m. for more trivia two uh, of the day. Thank you all. And goodbye. Enjoy. Enjoy your stuff. <laughs>